Hey guys, it's Lori. I am here, makeup free, which you guys all know from my history of cystic acne. Um, this is very big for me to do. Um, I have a little bit of scarring still, but it's so much better. I can't even tell you guys how much better my scarring is getting. It's still not 100% perfect. I have still a little bit of redness and discoloration to work my way through, but I'm determined to get there. And one thing that's really been helping me, you know, Michelle and I always give updates on what face oils and stuff we're doing. And today uh, you'll see Michelle and I's uh, new face oil routines. So as you'll see, this oil blend has just been a godsend to, to my face. And I, it's the biggest thing with the oil cleansing method is that you have to find what oils and uh, now we're adding in essential oils to our oil blend to find out what works for your skin. I've been a big believer and you have to mix. There's so many different great oils out there, so you guys have to play around with it too to find the ones. You know, Michelle and I started with the basic castor oil, olive oil one, which did great, but it didn't really help my skin and really it helped start calming it down with the cystic acne. But anyway, um, just play around with your oils. We'll give all the, the ratios down below, but Michelle and I only do this at night. Uh, we only wash our face at night. In the morning, we just do a typical couple splashes of water. We kind of freshen our face up, pat it dry, put some oils on, some essential oils, and that's it for the day. We'll do that in another video, but that's it. We just do this once a day. You'll get to see here in a second how easy it is to make. Again, it's really easy to customize it to what oils your skin likes. So that's what we like about it. And then I'm also adding a one pump of our Deterre foaming wash. We just do this. I got this. Uh, my sister got this for me. And it's just fun because it gives a little bit of foam. And Lori and I have been liking it mixed in with it. So we can think about eventually when we finish it, make our own up. So all I do is I just, we're going to, and um, Lori and I, or buying pumps, we can do this better, but I just do two kind of swigs, I guess, and then a pump of that, more or less, depending on how much makeup I have on, and then I just rub it in between my hands, and then it, you know, it runs down your hand, or get all the mess, and then I just massage it into my skin, like so, and sometimes I'll use baking soda, uh, sprinkles of baking soda in my hands for a natural exfoliant. And I do that every once in a while. And then I just work it in. Work it where... I know I focus on trying to give myself like a little facial massage. Get the oils into my pores. I just work it in. And then when I start getting a little bit of wet. And then I work it in more. Kind of a little process. I just kind of go like this. Work it in more. Grab a little bit more water. As you can see, it starts to really kind of curl out now from the pump. And then when I feel like I got a good clean, I rinse it off. And then, <laughs> dripping water over, then I pat dry.
that was it. That was Michelle and I's new face oil that we use to cleanse our face every single night. Like I mentioned, we only do it at night. And we've been doing this for a couple months now and our skin is just absolutely loving it. So we really hope uh, maybe you try these oils out. The rose and uh, Tamu oil are my top two oils for acne prone sensitive skin. Um, they just made a world of a difference for my skin. And then Hobola is one of Michelle's favorites. That's why we threw that oil in as to the mix as well. And then we're also big fans of the straight coconut oil. Sometimes when we travel, we don't always bring that. We just use bring a jar of coconut oil. We just wash our face with coconut oil. So coconut oil is another great oil to try out as well. Um, but again, we really hope this helps you out. And adding in those essential oils, it just gives a little bit more kick to it, a little bit more healing properties. And it uh, will give all the benefits of why we chose each of those essential oils um, down below in the description and over on the blog, purelytwins.com backslash blog. So don't forget to head over there to check all that information out. And if you're new to essential oils or interested in essential oils, please email us, contact us. We also have a, a page on our website all about it, about why we love them all. Um, they have really just made a difference in our skin, especially our face. And we're experimenting now with body oils and other things like that so we'll have to give you guys another big update on all of that fun jazz um, but anyway we really hope you guys enjoy our update of course if any other changes happen with our face cleansing method we will let you guys know don't forget to give this video a thumbs up we appreciate your support and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we are always sharing something health related fun related recipe related or just spending the day with us you can see what it's like to spend the day as the purely twins with us and don't forget to head over to our other channel, Purely Twins, where we share our free workouts, free recipes, and more health and beauty related topics as well. So don't forget to check that channel out as well. Thank you again so much for joining us today, and we'll see you guys next time.